the silver lining of COVID-19 has really um, two folds, right? Um, f firstly, I, I think it gathered a lot of uh, general understanding in uh, biotech and life sciences. Uh, previously, people would uh, not be very, very familiar with the terms in uh, life sciences. Uh, I think after COVID-19, people are a, a bit more um, um, familiar with, uh, you know, terms like uh, antibody antigens and how our, you know, um, immune system actually works and so on and so forth. Uh, and secondly, I think, um, you know, there has been a tremendous um, amount of interest from the investor space in life sciences because of a uh, spark by COVID-19. And I think, you know, COVID-19 has actually generated the um, um, increased awareness in the public health space, right, uh, as well as in biotech. Hong Kong has a very strong academic research base. Uh, our universities are very strong in, in this area and we have a lot of top-notch professors in life sciences. Meanwhile, Hong Kong is also a um, global capital market. So um, these two are uh, important components who propel uh, life sciences development. Um, meanwhile, Hong Kong is also part of um, China. Uh, and more importantly, GBA, which is a, um, an important area that the Chinese government is trying to push in development. So um, we, we actually have the science, we have the global markets, and um, lastly, we have the market itself. So I think the prospect for life sciences in Hong Kong is actually very promising.